So um, if you're like me and you have loads of baby hair, that is it baby hair, baby ass. I'm just gonna go with hair. <laughs> Uh, if you have loads of baby hair, then sometimes they're just floating around and that can be really bothering because sometimes you just want to have a real slick look um, without anything standing out. So um, I just wanted to show you how I kind of try to control that um, in a method that personally I've never seen in a YouTube video. It's really simple, it's nothing special. But I hope I can help you achieve a bit more of a slim look. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead to the actual video. Okay, so I've already put my hair back into a bun, a bit more to the back than I would usually do, so you can see better how, I, how I'm doing the baby hair. Um, so, and what I'm using is um, this, what's it called? Wax. <laughs> Wax for the hair. I'm using the tough one, but I'm uh, uh, sure it doesn't really matter. Um, what I also need is this brush that you usually use to, um, I don't know, to like do that and then you have more volume in your hair. Um, I'm sure you can also use like a toothbrush or any other kind of brush, but for me I found it works the best with this one. So, uh, as you can see, there are my baby hairs and as of right now they actually <laughs> uh, kind of more tame than they are usually because they can they can go like really high up. Um, okay, so what I used to do uh, before is just like you do. What I think everyone I look ridiculous. <laughs> what I think everyone used to do just like take a brush and like tr um, tame it down with some hairspray, um, which is what I also did first, and then I also started using the wax and I just use this one to tame it back but um, I've actually found that one method works to like really help your hair stay in place and that is to go into the wax um, and then you kind of like <laughs> take your baby hair up which looks so weird, I look like a tailor tubby kind of <laughs> and then I put the wax into the hair like this, and it stands up, and you look even more ridiculous. <laughs> like this, and then you use your brush, and then you tame your hair back. Like this, and you might have to brush it through a bit so that the wax cannot be seen that well anymore. And as you can see, it's like really, really slick. Um, and I don't need it. Obviously, do that with as much hair as you want to. Maybe you want to have the the sides of your hair still stand out. Maybe you want to look around looking like this. <laughs> um, yeah, just like with the rest. All the hair that you want to brush back, just brush it back. Um, basically that's it, you can obviously also uh, use more hairspray to have it be more slicked back. Uh, yeah, you can, you can apply as much as you want to, you can brush it back as much as you want to. Um, well, I didn't do like the most perfect job because I don't really have any more to go to right now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, that's just a little bit about. Just to show you, uh, I know it's really simple and maybe some even already knew the method um, but I haven't really seen it in any other YouTube video and I had to come up with it for myself and if that helps you, that's pretty cool. So if you already knew this and it, this didn't really help you at all, I'm sorry, but if it did, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, yeah. So whenever we actually get to go outside again and you want to tame your hair, you can use this method. Uh, no. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope to see you again in another video. Bye bye.